Welcome to YS Online, ako po si Dai Sensei and I will be teaching you Japanese today in Tagalog. In our previous lessons, we learned the Nai form as the negative plain form of Masen and the verb conjugation in Nai form. So today, we're gonna go just a little bit further. In this lesson, we will be discussing the verb Nai form and we're going to be making sentences after conjugating our verbs to verb nai de kudasai. Verb nai de kudasai. And nakute mo ii desu. Madalas natin sinasabing wag mong gawin yan or don't do that, right? We also say you don't need to do this or hindi mo kailangan gawin ito, etc., etc., right? Make sure to take notes and feel free to pause this video or rewind a little bit if you need some clarifications. So, my question to you is, I'm done Are you ready? All right, let's go. All right, so first topic for today, umpisan natin sa pattern na ito. Verb, naide kudasai. Or, in English, please don't do verb. This is the opposite of verb te kudasai, which is please do verb. This pattern is used to ask or tell someone not to do something. Gaya nga ng sinabi namin nung nakarang lesson natin, kailangang kabisaduhin ang conjugation ng verb nai form dahil gagamitin na natin ito sa sentences. But of course, you can always refresh your memory in our previous videos. I'll put the links in the description box below. Okay, so where were we? Alimbawa, nasa loob tayo ng, let's say, like an art museum. At gusto natin sabihin sa kasama natin na wag mag-take ng pictures kasi bawal. Baka mahuli pa tayo, di ba? So, how do we say this in Japanese? Art museum in Japanese is bijutsukan. Bijutsukan. To take is torimasu. Torimasu. And picture is shashin. First in our sentence is the location. So that would be bijutsukan. Bijutsukan. Or art museum. Followed by the particle de. That's our location marker. Next is the object, which is shashin, or photo, and then our object marker particle, wo, and then the nai form of the verb, toranai. Tapos, idudukung natin ang te kudasai, or de kudasai. So, our sentence is, bijutsukan de shashin wo toranai de kudasai. One more time. Please don't take pictures in the art museum. So, this sentence form, verb nai de kudasai, can also be used to show consideration to someone by telling them they don't have to do something. So, halimbawa, may kaibigan tayo na masyadong nag-aalala tungkol sa atin. Kasi, di ba, marami tayong caring friends, right? Let's say, for example, sabihin natin na, uh, please don't worry about me. Shinpai shimasu means to worry. Now, drop the masu form and replace it with nai de kudasai. And what we're gonna get is shinpai shinai de kudasai. Shinpai shinai de kudasai. Easy, right? So do you see what we did there? If not, don't worry. Just rewind this video back a little bit for the explanation. Alright, so let's take a look at another way to use the verb nai form. That would be the verb nakereba narimasen. To have to or to um, must do something. Haba no? Verb nakereba narimasen is the opposite of verb te wa ikemasen. Right? Te wa ikemasen is you must not do. We use this pattern to say that something has to be done. Take note, it sounds like a negative, but it's not negative. Sanayan lang yan. So, how do we say? 
something has to be done in Japanese. Unang step sa pattern na ito ay i-conjugate muna natin ang verb into night form. Then, take out the e in night. Tapos, idugtong natin ang kereba narimasen. So, for example, if you guys out there love coffee as much as I do, gets nyo to. Kapag tinanong ako tungkol sa habit ko sa umaga, I would say, I need to drink my coffee every morning. Literally, I must have my coffee every morning. So, kung katulad nyo ako na kailangan nyo nilang coffee sa umaga, how do we say this in Japanese? So, every morning in Japanese is mayasa. Coffee is kohiyo. Must drink is noma na kereba narimasen. So, nakita nyo ba kung ano ang ginawa natin sa ating verb nomu? First, we changed nomu to nomanai. Then, we dropped the e in nomanai. And then, dinuktung natin si kereba narimasen. So, that's why we have mayasa, kohi o noma na kereba narimasen. Kohi o noma na kereba narimasen. A few moments later. That's much better. So, papano naman kung gusto natin sabihin, I can't not drink water. So, hindi ako pwedeng hindi uminom ng tubig. Siyempre, kapag uhaw na uhaw na tayo, inom na kagad ng tubig, di ba? So, how do we say this in Japanese? Mizu means water or tubig. Inom or to drink is nomu. And to not drink is nomanai. Can't not drink naman is nomana kereba narimasen. Put together, we have mizu o nomana kereba narimasen. Mizu o nomana kereba narimasen. Mizu o nomana kereba narimasen. What's that? Oh, thank you very much. Tastes better with the mint inside, guys. Trust me. <clears throat> Refreshing. How about you guys? Do you do something or have something you must do and cannot live without? Give us your thoughts and write three examples in your notebook. All right, let's try another sentence pattern with verb night. For our next pattern, we have verb naktemo ii desu or don't have to or no need to do something. So this is for when you want to say that it's not necessary to do something. Let's say for example, mabait yung boss natin at bibigyan tayo ng day off, no? Or baka may guest dapat tayo na papunta sa bahay natin bukas pero nagkaroon ng emergency kaya hindi na natin siya papuntain bukas, right? We say, Ashita, konakte mo ii desu. Ashita, konakte mo ii desu. You don't have to come tomorrow. So tomorrow in Japanese is Ashita, tomorrow, right? And to come is Kimasu. So, papano naging ganito yung sentence natin? So, susundan lang natin ulit ang pattern. First is to conjugate the verb into nai form. Here, our verb is kimasu or to come, di ba? The nai form of kimasu is konai. Dito, tatanggalin natin ang i. Then, lastly, idulutong natin ang kutemo i desu. So that's why we have the final sentence, Ashita konakute mo ii desu. Ashita konakute mo ii desu yo. Alright, so now it's your turn. Make your own sentences using the patterns that we just learned today. Verb nai de kudasai. Don't do something. Verb nakereba narimasen. I must do something. And Verb nakute mo ii desu. 
don't have to do something. Or, alternatively, you can help me translate these sentences into Japanese. Please don't drink beer. You don't have to return the book. And you don't have to give a gift. Write your answers in the comment section below. For YS Online, my name is Dice. That's it for today. Jane. Thank you very much for watching guys as always and if you like this video be sure to hit that subscribe button and share this video with your friends who might be interested to learn about the Japanese language. For all our YS Online members out there, we have quizzes and other review materials for you to go through para maabsorb ninyo lahat ng natututunan ninyo sa mga lessons natin dito. So be sure to take the if you're interested in becoming a full member of our YS Online program, be sure to check us out at www.ysnlc.com. Stay tuned to our next video. Gagamitin natin ang pinag natin ngayon para gumawa ng mga even more sentences.